Australians, it is my melancholy duty to inform you officially that in consequence of a persistence by Germany in her invasion of Poland, Great Britain has declared war upon her and that as a result, Australia is also at war. Prior to World War II, Penfield was acquired by the Commonwealth Government to build the South Australian Munitions Factory. This site was, at the time, the largest munitions factory in the Southern Hemisphere and the fourth largest of its kind in the world. Torpedoes, ammunition, shells, rockets and mines were all made here. Machines of war now sit, but once their catalysts of death were manufactured. Explosive death was created here, and there were men and women that died on site. Many of the machines served in battle. Memories of war linger in the darkness of these buildings, as do the memories of death. Okay, I've actually felt quite a few things at a particular moment. Um, I've had a lot of cold spots, I've had a lot of um, uh, freezes on my legs and everything else. I've actually felt uh, about four entities in here. Uh, one of them came through before from over there, his name was David. I actually feel that one's actually a, um, like a male nurse or a orderly. Something to do with the medicals. There's a lot of medical ones in here tonight. There was a lady as well, and uh, I actually felt she was a sister. So whether that's a sister in nursing or what, I'm not sure. Um, I also had a, uh, an army sergeant, Sergeant Michaels. And um, Sergeant Michaels, something to do with transport, um, to do with trucks. No, okay. Well, from what he saw, he had no face. No, he had no head. Not trying to map an image and that's just a blank wall there. Yeah. So, what's your thoughts on that? And look at that, Alan. He's got no head. I, I see somebody going like this. You, you got that? With their arms yep. against both walls. So it's mapped like to torso. Yeah. Yeah. Have a look, it's mapped to torso, but yeah. it hasn't got a head. Yeah. Yep. No. See? I told you we were decapitated. <laughs> and I told, I told you we were meant to come in there. keyboard type things going. Um, it's almost like tip tap, tapity tip 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 tap, but it's not Morse code. It's almost like as though it's um, a, like a typewritery type thing, something like that. I've actually got a couple of people, I thought I heard some uh, noises before, people talking and uh, things like that. I've actually got a, like a person standing right here where I am. I don't know if you can... Sorry, I don't know if you can notice it or not, but right where I am at a particular moment, uh, I've got a male, it's probably about my height. Uh, probably a little bit taller, a bit more heavy set than what I am. He's actually to do with um, something to do with one of these radios here. Did someone get killed that's got one of these radios here? Someone's been, someone uh, has died with one of these objects here. I don't know what it is, but it's to do with this area here. Um, whether it's in the war or not, I don't know, but I, I feel it's, it's connected to some, one of these objects here. It, it's going now, so it must be no, that must be what it's to do with. Okay, so if you want to remember that in that area there. The, um, actually, I don't know whether women actually had anything to do with any of this stuff in here, but I actually do feel like as though there's some ladies. Um, there was a couple of ladies that, that to do with uh, like a, a jeep, top, not a jeep, but a, a vehicle. And I feel like as though some of this machinery that was in the, or this, some of the stuff was in one of the machines, that women actually were in there as well. So, um, 
the males that I keep out get, there's not so much just here at a particular time. I think this is all fairly good in here, except for the male that keeps popping his head in and out between here. Um, I don't necessarily feel he's actually associated with here, but he's very interested in sticking his head through there. In this room, I would possibly give you an example of about at least 10 to 12 entities. And I mean, it is really, really active in here. It's really full in here. So it's very, very difficult to me to point any particular area because there's, it's just full of people. I'm getting um, something to do with uh, a certain platoon. Hang on, let me think. I don't know whether AIF is me it means anything with the platoon, but it's something to do with like AIF. Um, it's something to do with uh, like a platoon, and you're getting uh, I'm getting a, a group of group of soldiers, and they're all males. There's no females in this group of males, and it's something to do with over this direction over in here, and. Um, A couple of them still living. It's strange. Anyway, so this here before where we were having the talking, there was actually about three males standing right behind you at the particular moment. That's why I stopped you for a second. You've got three men that standing behind you that they were all talking before. Um, they're older gentlemen, so I gathered up in Randy for a while. They're actually commenting about what you're doing in here. So um, that's a very interesting in there. I think a lot of things like uh, what type of things are they using? What is it? What are they? Can they hurt us? Can they damage us? Can they um, interfere with what we are? And and why are they here? Why are they um, investigating these these things that, that's in here? The lights, that sort of thing. It's all strange to them. So this is all um, beyond their years, I gather. And uh, yeah, they're all sort of commenting on about how it's. They're scared of it, so that's why you're probably not picking a lot of it up. And um, and if you just you know sort of go around a bit, you can find that a lot of the stuff is um, very energised. You've got a lot of energy. Look, I wish your cameras could pick it up. Because looking down here, there is a lot of energy fields. I mean, you can actually, if you saw it as you can imagine it as shimmering lights. There's um, like there's just little beams of lights. It's almost like as though you get. Um, like each person's image is just a light beam that's been pushed down because there's so many of it in here. So I'm getting excited. <laughs> so yeah, so getting back to here, this is also where a female, um, another female presence here to keep going through the wall and coming back here. So it might be something out there that needs to be. I think it's something to do with the uniform. So it's maybe to do with the nursing side of things again. It's actually quite strange because I didn't think any of them would be in here. But um, but there you have it. I actually find there's a lot of um, entities that are in here, so it's just a shame we couldn't pick them all up.